Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about this little cutie here. I posted a photo of this piece on my Instagram and I got a flurry of questions asking where did I find this piece, where can you find it, and how much is it? So I thought I would do a proper video. I actually purchased this adorable little key pouch for my daughter. She recently turned 10 years old, so I figured it was a pretty special birthday as she just hit her double digits. And she actually asked for her very own set of keys to our home and to our mailbox so I thought yeah why not and why don't I get her a little key pouch so she can keep her keys secure and also this bright color would be really easy to find and hard to lose so this is a genuine leather piece in a true bright bubblegum pink it has a smooth zipper no snagging and then the inside it has this gold plated chain attached and the inside is actually, I don't believe it's leather on the inside. It feels more plasticky and I think it's really good for wiping down. If you were to put your coins or cash in here and eventually got dirty, you could easily just wipe it down with a wet wipe. So I do like that feature. This is actually a made in USA piece. It comes from a company called Royce. You can see here it's a New York based brand. I actually was not familiar with them until I found this piece and I did a little bit of research. They were established in 1974 as you can see on this box. So they are nearly 50 years old and it turns out they are a family owned business. And especially with all that's going on at the moment, I love the idea of supporting all businesses of course but in particular small businesses and family-run businesses because we all need to do our part in really just supporting and boosting the economy and just getting back to a more stable situation with all that's occurred over the last several months here so getting back to this little piece uh, it is a made in USA piece it is genuine leather and I ordered this from the Macy's website so Macy's.com it was originally listed at $39.99 which is a really reasonable price for a genuine leather piece but I got it on sale for $27.99 which is even better I think it's still on sale but even for the full price for 40 bucks I think this is actually a really well-made adorable piece it comes in this pink color it comes in a fun purple and it also comes in black I do wish that other colors were available but as far as I could tell only these three were uh, being offered. I did go ahead and order the purple one and the black one and only one arrived. The other one is delayed so the other one is in here. The one that arrived today so I will unbox this with you all in a few minutes and the other the, the, the second piece or I guess the third piece one two and then the third one that's missing um, is on its way I guess they were just sent out in two separate packages so I could tell a lot of people were interested in this piece in particular because uh, I know that many of you are looking to get the Louis Vuitton key pouch not the six key holder or the four key holder that folds out with the snap button but the pouch just like this with the zipper and the chain attached that's actually the exact piece that I had purchased from Louis Vuitton a few months ago uh, I think most of you would have seen that video that I shared I was so excited to finally get it I got it in the Damir Abin print and it was my first and only time, my first and last time, ordering from the Louis Vuitton website. All of my other Louis Vuitton pieces I purchased at the boutique through my sales associate. So anyway, I ordered it and it came. I discovered it was a made in USA piece. Now I do have a strong preference for made in France pieces for Louis Vuitton. Um, but I found that it was a made in USA piece, which I could have gotten over. That would have been fine. No big deal. Except that I discovered, and I'm sorry if this is a repeat for those of you who already know this story, but really quickly, there was wonky loose stitching on the bottom so I could see the gaps and the spacing in between the stitches. It was not as tight as it should have been. And also worse was the canvas had this really terrible foul chemical smell coming from it. The odor was just bad. And I aired it out for 24 hours and it did not get better and the smell was just overpowering. I don't know if it just came from the factory or from the glue or the canvas or what, but I quickly returned it at the boutique 
and actually my sales associate there she had two key pouches one in monogram and the other I think was in Dami I think they were both in monogram actually they were both made in France pieces and she showed them to me and for both of them something was wrong so one the zipper was really 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 sticky and kept st getting stuck like you know imagine if that's what happened and the other one had the same wonky stitching all along the side and the reason why I love my sales associate at Louis Vuitton is because she has never ever pressured me to make a decision or a purchase and in fact on that occasion she looked at both pieces and she shook her head and said don't buy these buy it when you know they're well made and you feel 100% happy so I didn't buy it and since then I have just been using this ratty little microfiber pouch which has worked perfectly frankly this little microfiber pouch that I got from J. Crew when I purchased some costume jewelry from the kids section for my daughter and I just I've just been putting my keys in here I don't have a lot of keys as you can see I only have three small keys I don't own a car living in Manhattan so I don't have a big bulky car key and really I just plop it in here and I've been using this for a while now and my only sort of purpose in using any kind of pouch is to just protect the interiors of my bags so especially the ones that are lined in lambskin like my Celine box bag and my Chanel classic flap in the lambskin so that's really all it is it's not like you absolutely need a key pouch or a key case it's not a must at all um, but like I said I just started to use this but you can see it's starting to pill and kind of fall apart and obviously I can wash it and it should be fine but you know what I'm saying if I can get a proper key pouch I would like a proper key pouch now do I want to spend what is it now $215 for the Louis Vuitton key pouch when I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like don't get me wrong I love Louis Vuitton I'm a huge fan of their brand and their products and I'm an investor in their in their stock but you know as a customer I'm pretty picky and I want to make sure I'm getting really well made durable pieces and I think that the point of getting Louis Vuitton canvas is for the durability because the canvas is treated and processed in a way that is supposed to last a very very long time but if I'm not getting I guess my money's worth then maybe I look at a more affordable alternative so that is my long-winded way of saying I think I understand why there was so much interest in this piece here because many of you are like me where you've been in the situation where you've either been eyeing the Louis Vuitton key pouch or you've tried to buy it and had to return it because it wasn't right or you've been on the wait list I know they're really hard to come by whatever the reason if you're looking for a key pouch this is very similar in size and shape and design of the Louis Vuitton key pouch so let me show you the measurements I have my tape measure here I'm going to show you I actually love this one because it's so slim and compact it's perfect for mini bags and you guys know I love my mini bags so in terms of length it's going to be just shy of four and a half inches okay now the Louis Vuitton one based on the dimensions on their website it is 4.7 inches so it's going to be just maybe a centimeter or two yeah about two centimeters longer than this piece here and then let's look at the height so this is just shy of three inches and the Louis Vuitton piece is also just shy of three inches it states that it is 2.8 inches which I think is almost identical to this one here and then in terms of the side or the depth on the Louis Vuitton key pouch it says 0.4 inches I would think this is roughly the same it's just very very slender and slim so if you're looking for a key pouch that is compact for just a small amount of keys and you also like the fact that you can put in some cards some cash some coins can't really do that at all with the Louis Vuitton 4 key holder you could add some cash and a couple of cards under this flap on the 6 key holder for Louis Vuitton but I think this is actually really handy dandy now I know also there's the Gucci Supreme key holder which is similar it's bigger though overall in size from this and also the Louis Vuitton one and I think it's super cute 
but it's got sort of like a bulbous bottom. The shape is a little different. One thing I don't love is that the zipper, the pull comes kind of down to here. Sort of like a dangly zipper pull and I don't, for some reason I don't like that on the key pouch. I like how neat and tidy this zipper is and also how it is this way on the Louis Vuitton key pouch as well. So I'm sorry I don't have the actual Louis Vuitton piece that I returned because then it would be nice to do a side by side, but I wanted to show you the dimensions and the features as closely and as detailed as possible. Now this one here is the one that I just received today, so I'm going to open it and see what color. I don't know what color it is. Like I said, I ordered the purple and the black. Okay, <laughs> so it's the black one. I'm sure the purple is more fun, but Actually, I really like this one. The black one, for some reason, I'm sure they're all of these pieces have slightly different leather, right? But this one, the black one, feels noticeably softer and more supple, and maybe because it doesn't have the colored dye in it, like this bright pink one. I don't know, or maybe it's just a different cut of leather. But I definitely feel the difference. The black one is, can you guys even maybe see the difference? Like it just seems, it's definitely softer to the touch and it just seems more supple versus the pink one. So I don't know if that's the case for all of the pinks and all of the blacks. If you guys are interested in deciding between the colors, I'd be interested to see what the purple looks like. But like I said, that one is delayed right now. So I am definitely going to keep this one. I can tell I really like it. The zipper is smooth. Here's the Roy Royce card. Yeah, it is a family owned business. That's a really nice touch. And, oh, I actually like this contrast of the brightness of the gold chain against the black. It's a really stark contrast, more so than the pink. Now I know a lot of you voted for me to get the pink one for myself too so I could truly twin with my daughter. And that would have been that would have been fun. It would have been cute. However, I could see us getting mixed up and grabbing each other's pouches by accident. And I just wanted to make it easier for us to just grab and go, she would know that this bright pink one is hers and I would know either the black one or the purple one is mine. I actually like, of course I love the black one. You guys know I have so much black in my wardrobe and in my collection. By the way, I know some of you, you told me that as soon as you saw my posting of this piece here, you went ahead onto Macy's and you immediately ordered one for yourself like that day. If you've already received it and you're struggling to figure out how to open this clasp, don't be embarrassed because I too had a hard time and I had to ask my husband. So I fidgeted and fumbled with this thing. It turns out that this little piece here comes out. There's a little, you see that? It's kind of like a little needle. So you pull it out and that releases the clasp. So I'm going to put my keys on here. Where are my keys? So I just want to show you what it looks like. So then you just clip it closed and it's secure. It doesn't fall off. And by the way, I noticed on both this one here and also on the pink one that the metal is definitely imperfect. You've got some little scuffs and dents and scratches. I don't really care. It's you know a, a piece that I paid under $30 for. I think that it's perfectly fine. And yep, the inside of this you can't see because it's so dark. It's black, but it definitely feels wipeable like the pink one. So I'm going to just plop that in there. And look at that. So I can shimmy it around so that this bulge doesn't happen. I think it's just yeah. Let me see. Something is sticking out. I think it's this little round metal piece. Okay, I think that looks better. So yeah. It's pretty slender. I can just plop this into my mini pochette or into my mini bags. I love the feel of it. I know that it will last longer than this, <laughs> this little pouch I've got here. So we'll see when the purple one comes, but I hope that this was helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you are new to my channel and you love seeing all kinds of um, 
luxury and designer pieces. I also do, like I did with this here, um, unknown brands or lesser known brands that I've discovered along the way that seem to have good quality and good service and all of that. So if you're interested in both mainstream luxury brands and others, please consider subscribing. We have lots of fun here. I love inter interacting with you guys. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below for me and I will try my best to address them. Thanks so much. Till next time. Bye-bye.